as far as the episode was good, that was freaking depressing. I mean, holy cow. I mean, my spirits were completely drained off that episode. It was just depressing as nuts. I mean, you had the whole bit with the regulars and then basically them as interesting human beings, which is what were the plot points I actually really like about Noragami is the fact that it explores the ideas of how, how regulars live. They're not just... They're almost not seen as people, but they are. And it kind of explores the idea that they are human too. And they want to be remembered, but they can't interact with normal human beings. And it's kind of depressing to explore that in the first season. That was one of the big highlights for me of the of that season. Well, it was technically the best of that season, because that season was terrible last year. Year before. Not even last year, I can't remember. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, and then this one is exploring the idea even more. We had that, we had Suzuha as a, as a character, and how he interacted with one of the girls. He used to go to his garden, and then... Faithful, faithfully, something he, she can't remember him, but remembers everything else. And then it brings into question is if Hiyori grows up, will he, would they remember Yato and Yukine? And it just and it freaking kills you inside because god damn it, they're they're such good characters. You just don't want to see them depressed. And yeah, it did actually affect it did actually affect you quite a bit because almost you almost have to ask that question yourself as well because after a while, if you're not with your friends, do they forget? And it's that it's that kind of idea that you have. It kind of brings out the question. I like how they did that. It was one of those ex one of those ideas they explored and explored it really, really freaking well, and it did lend itself very well. And then we also found out the main bad guy. I think for this whole season, which I think it's Kuhura, uh, Kahura. Oh, I hope that's a guy's name. The Doctor. I call him Doctor Man. Basically, yeah, he's going to be the bad guy this season. And also, I like how Nora came back as well. I like her in the first season. And also, yeah, they're basically the bad guys of the season, which didn't surprise me that Nora might come back and come back as the bad person. But, yeah, we have her now as the bad person. But, yeah, I mean, as a character, they're pretty good. I mean, they're assholes and I hate them, but they're good characters. They explore the idea really well. And, and I think, like with most animes, which have a lot of drama and comedy, they can actually bounce each other off pretty well. You can juxtapose it really well. Bones is freaking good at it. Bones is really good at juxtaposing drama with humour. I mean, look at Formal Alchemist, for example. God, that had bits that made you cry like a girl. And then it had things that made you bawl in la laughter. It has... It, it, and it just it just worked so well in conjunction with each other, and it can juxtapose it pretty damn well. So you just didn't mind it having constant shifts in tone. And yeah, this episode was basically that. It had loads of shifts in tone. It had... You had the bit with Suzo Han, you had the bit when Hiyori and Yukine go to the thing, and then the Yato's spying on them. And it was funny, but it's depressing at the exact same time. But, I mean, as far as that goes, yeah, I liked it. And also, I liked how now Bushimon's trying to be taken down, because Bushimon's, again, one of my favorite characters in the anime. I think, and then everyone's trying to take her down, and it's kind of like a thing. I don't know who the real antagonist is, really, because I said, like, she's taking down Yato, because Yato did something bad to her family back in the day. It's like, yeah, you understand that. But really, in theory, it's not even him, it's the bad guy, and it's just... It, it does it so well. So you think he is the bad guy. You think I thought Yato at the beginning of this anime would be the bad guy of the season. I thought maybe he would be the actual antagonist, but no. When it comes into question, who actually is? It did it well. And it kind of just like kind of throws you off. If you didn't read the manga, it kind of throws you off slightly. And I thought that was pretty good. I thought it explored that. Oh, he didn't really explore it, but it kind of just like completely just diverted your opinion completely. And I think that's why. I think that's what's so good about Noragami. It, it just surprises you. It just it's good in that way. But I mean, yeah, go and watch it. If you haven't watched the first season, go and watch that as well, because I don't know what the hell you're doing. But with all that said, I have been the driver. And I will see you guys later. Bye for now.